hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is katia valino how are you guys all doing so nice to see you guys again and i know that you guys are super excited to see me because if you're not you wouldn't be watching my channel okay i am so heartbroken today really 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 so heartbroken if you are from nigeria you must have heard about the trending news that the only of ife and Olori Wurala are not together anymore. When I heard this yesterday, it came as a shock to me. I couldn't believe it. I just did like I was wiping out sand from my eyes, you know? So I went back, I read, I read, I read about it. Lots of major newspapers in Nigeria have this news. A lot of blogs have this news. I also have this news in my blog. So... It really pains me because you know what? I was only, only privileged to meet them last month, the month of July. They were here in Canada to celebrate the 150 years anniversary with Canada. So apparently, um, the news just have it all over that they are not together anymore. Uh, there were so many accusations according to the news from what I'm reading that uh, oh god this is one of the highest position one of the highest position a woman can hold in africa this is in queen queen in africa oloru wurola now they said that they just came back from the trip and then wurola ran over to the ex-president of nigeria obasanjo to try to help them fix the marriage but apparently Abbasanjo cannot do anything. There were so many suspicions, according to the news. She suspect, uh, they are sus suspecting her of so many things. They say that unpublished, let me tell you how it is. She's being suspected of unpublished things. I don't know what that means, unpublished things by uh, Oloru Urola. And they also say that she is lacking commitment from her marriage vows and as i'm talking to you right now she's not in talking terms with her in-laws so so many things has been going on and on and on and on and from the news as well and if you are really a news follower or social media follower from nigeria in nigeria you must have heard that uh Wurala was married to a lebanese uh a millionaire lebanese in dubai and the news said that when she was married, uh, she was also cheating, being a married woman. So there are so many things going on. But what I'm saying is that I'm not here to judge. I don't know what's going on. They are the royals. They are the monarchy, one of the monarchies that we have in African uh, continent. So I don't think that their news or the story will be as open as every other one out there uh, that throws things out like that better i'm keeping my eyes open for you guys i'm watching on the news um if i get more information i'll keep you guys all posted but the information i got this morning from one of the news which i'll also put the link on everything is that only of ife they have already the palace has already arranged a wife for him so i don't know how true that is this is just according to the speculation. If they already arrange a wife for him, my question is how fast, how soon? But again, they say that he's the king of the Yoruba, that the king, the Oni, cannot be a bachelor. But my question is, did they really have to arrange for a wife for him? Can he not pick a woman that he wants? So if you know um, how this works in the monarch world, let me know keep your leave your messages at the bottom of this video let me know i'll be so excited to know more but uh, again my heart is broken i don't know who celebrates broken marriage i don't know what she did but i think it's fixable but anyways this is the second marriage for only of ife he's in his 40s and him and Wurala, they don't have kids. So if he marries another one, this will be his third marriage. He's in his 40s. 
and Wurala, I believe, according to the news, that she is in her 30s. So, guys, let me what you guys let me know what you guys think about this monarch marriage and the owner of Ife. I love him. I love him. I love him so much. If you would take an Igbo girl, I beg go. But too bad I'm married, eh? <laughs> they say that the new bride um, is a Yoruba girl. And you know that Wurala is from Edo, Benin. So this time, they want to try uh, a Yoruba woman. I don't know. I wish them all the best. And um, let me know what you guys think about the whole speculations. If you want to read more about that, click on the link at the bottom of this video so that you will see uh, read and see a whole thing that is going on. Like I said, when Oni was here in Toronto, he was so bubbly. He was full of life. I said, oh my God, what a happy man. He was going on and on and on and on, like traveling from one city to the other. There were a series of events. I never see him like not smiling, not being happy. But uh, I really don't know what happened. So I wish them the best. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll see you guys. Unfortunately, uh, I don't know when I post videos. People always say they post videos once a week, twice a week, three times a week. But as soon as I see trending news that I know that you guys will love, I'm popping it up there for you guys. So thank you guys once more for watching my channel. I don't have my glasses, right? How do I look? Nice? Okay. Bye, guys. Thank you.